Anything for anything for student athletes? Sorry about that, Paul. Yeah, Ace, um, you have been singing high praise of your offensive line, kind of along those lines. Your numbers today that the offensive line has been great all season. Were they at their best today? Oh man, I mean, it, it was just another day in the uh, LT Smith Stadium. I mean, them guys bust their butts off each and every day. I mean, I, I wish there was enough of these to give to every O line we have because. Each and every day, I mean, them guys push and push and push. And I mean, it's not being seen. Them, them guys are not the ones who's on the front of the newspaper or on TV. But I, I really appreciate the work that they do, and I, I love those guys. Ace right here, the 36 carries today. I mean, it just looked like he, he, the line got stronger and even you got stronger. Just how did you feel as the game progressed? Um, you know, I felt great. Uh, I didn't even know, notice I had it been carried. Uh, but, I mean, it just feels good. Whenever you see your team win and everybody was happy, uh, I just loved the atmosphere we was all in and everything planned out the way we wanted it to plan out. And we went out there and fought hard and we were successful with it. Keith, back here. As the game got further into it, you got the feeling that once one defense was able to stop, then the offense would take over. What was in the defense's mind to get that stop and to get the ball back into the explosive offense's hands? That was the thing, just get the ball back to our offense. We know our offense is going to go out there and score. So we just had to step up and get those stops when we got them. Yeah, Forrest, I guess, or, or Mike, you guys, I think eight or nine straight games of 43 points or more. Do you feel like when you go into games you have a schematic advantage over other teams that you, you, you guys are doing things that defenses can't keep up with? Uh, yeah, Coach Brom and our staff does a great job of scheming during the week. Uh, every time we come in, uh, Sunday after the game, we're already moving on to the next week. Uh, same thing with Tuesday, they have it all laid out for us, and they do a great job. Yeah, I mean, it comes down to executing our coach's game plan. They put us in uh, great situations to succeed, and we have the players to do so. Forrest, back here. Um, today was, besides the conference championship and back-to-back, -back, it was your 10th win of the season. You guys won 12 last year back-to-back -back double digit double digit win seasons. First time ever in this 97 year history. What does it mean to be a part of that? Uh, it's a huge it's a huge accomplishment, obviously, uh, not just for us, but for the university. Uh, we're, real proud, we're real proud to be a part of that. Uh, those programs came a long way. Uh, Kyle, our SID, was telling me uh, back when I committed, we had won, just broke the 21-9 uh, game losing streak, uh, had one seven win season. And uh, just for all the seniors to commit to something like that is you know, unbelievable. And uh, it's great what uh, Coach Brown and everybody else have built here. Keith, that moment where Brandon got the interception, you guys all ran up to the student section. Did y'all think the game was over then or what? Yeah, we knew it was over once he got the pick. We just said it. <laughs> what, what was that feeling like and just the, the celebration knowing that at that point you guys had won the championship? It was exciting. It's the conference championship. So, I mean, it spins our high. And we, that's what we worked for all season. That was our goal. And we got it accomplished. It was the best feeling we had. Ace right here, in that last drive, you go down there, you, you, you cut around the line on the edge, and you've got nothing but grass, and you start high-stepping going to the end zone. I guess it's sealed. It just what was sort of going through your head on that last play when you were going to the end zone? <laughs> it was a conference champs, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so going through it, mean, once I, I knew what they was doing uh, that whole drive, they was trying to pack the inside, pack the inside. So once the coach uh, gave back the plan that we was going to run outside, I knew it was going to be wide open. Forrest made a great block on the edge and it sealed the deal. Mike, there was a, a lot of social media buzz this week about Coach Brown maybe moving on somewhere else. Was that distracting for you guys at all? Not at all. Uh, we know the man he is and we know he's going to go out there every single day and we want to win and he wants to win. You know, uh, We do a great job of blocking that stuff out. We live in our own bubble. bubble. We're a family and we go out there and we, we uh, play our best. Is that how you'll approach it? Going into bowl practice and bowl season? Oh, definitely. You know, that's that's the uh, mantra we have on our team, and we're just going to go out there every day and work hard. Well, you've talked a lot about all season about getting out to a, a fast start with the <coughs> offense. And was there an added emphasis on that today with with another offense in La Tech as capable as they are? And once you all were able to do that, did that give you all any any extra confidence moving forward throughout the game? Uh, like we spoke on earlier, we're, we're a really confident group both on both sides of the ball. We, uh, we trust what we are taught, we trust what we know, and we trust the players we have around us. But uh, we knew that our defense was going to have a good game, that we've been working on it all season since that game. And uh, we just wanted to go out there, score points for our team and for our defense. One more for the student-athletes. 
force that last game against Louisiana Tech. Ace, I think it was just under 100 yards or so. It just uh, today, just it looked like you guys as the offensive line were just able to sort of assert yourselves more. Just what was the biggest difference whenever you play in this team? Jamari faced again that allowed you guys to come out and pretty much do what you wanted to. Well, obviously, when you face a team once, uh, you know you know the person knows really well. Um, you know how they play, um, so we had that advantage of already playing them one time and kind of knowing what their scheme was and whatnot. Um, so we were excited about that. But just going out there and uh, like Mike and Coach Brown said, just grinding throughout the week. Uh, we have a great game plan every single week, uh, week in and week out. Um, so just follow the game plan, do what we're supposed to do, and execute. Thank you, gentlemen.